Introducing to you first on my right, he is fighting out of the red corner, entering the ring wearing green trunks with black trim, hailing from and proudly representing Coupe Alto Puerto Rico. He weighed in at the limit of 154 pounds even. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with 38 wins, no losses, 31 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, he is making his 19th appearance in a world title bout. Here is the explosive two-time world champion, the current undefeated WBA super welterweight champion of the world, introducing Felix Tito. He is wearing white trunks with red and green trim. He proudly represents his hometown of Oxnard, California. He weighed in the same as his opponent, 154 pounds. He also is undefeated at 20 wins, no losses, with 18 big wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, he is making the sixth defense of his title. Please welcome the hard-hitting, undefeated, IBF junior middleweight champion of the world, introducing the ferocious Fernando Vanga. Your head or your gut, which one is right? Trinidad can only go to the well so many times. Has been down in the early rounds all six times. He got up to win. Vargas lands a left jab against an off ballot Trinidad. First of all, I'm not afraid of you. Then you got to back it up, though. Big left hook by Trinidad, and Vargas is stunned. Vargas is stunned and down. And you know how stunned he is. Six in the left hook. Trinidad can't go to the wheel. He's not playing around there. Second knockdown for Trinidad. He's the one who said it would be. Okay. But this is what Felix said he'd do. No three knockdown rule in effect. He was not prepared early for the quickness of Vargas's hands. Of oh, Trinidad's hands. Sorry, Trinidad's hands. Footed. That's not what I expected of him. Oh, the Trinidad goes down early, and suddenly Vargas is down twice in the first. Real composure and poise in a, in a crisis situation. And you didn't want it to be the first time he'd run into some adversity. Vargas kind of puts his chest here in his waist class. He didn't finish Vargas off, and I don't know why. Seven or eight rounds. This is an unusual situation. Now he got hurt by a right hand. Vargas chopped him on the side of the head with a good right hand. Punches in the first round. Vargas just missing with another straight right cross. You better use those legs. You don't want to stand in front of a puncher like that. He's going to make it out of round one. But what a perilous round one of a dad with an early two knockdown statement. Larry, a look at the knockdowns. Stunned early in the fight. He has never been down as a professional prize fighter. Somebody as deadly and quick as Tito. Trinidad and Trinidad did everything he could to finish it right give Vargas credit for showing some stability and maturity came back and managed to land 14 punches in the round despite being down twice and now Vargas tried and a chopping right by Vargas in the last minute of Trinidad flush on the cheek man's using some good ex that's bobbing that's weaving Trinidad well they told us for years that he's having so much trouble from him Vargas with a left for both fighters. Hilarity. It's going to take a couple of rounds if it goes there for Vargas to get his balance back. Another left he hand left flush for Trinidad, and Vargas is stunned again. Vargas having trouble handling Trinidad's power. But he has those punches. How he does it, you don't know. Right hand left. Kind of power. And that's what Vargas is doing, making the mistake of punching with a very good puncher. Yeah, but George is having no success standing outside because of the quickness of Trinidad, so he has to tie back under him. That's what he should be doing. There was a brutal body shot by Trinidad that set up this assault, but Vargas is able to duck it. And that that he's sprinting too before. early. Trinidad. Big right hand. Left hook missed. And and this is one of the first times you've seen Trinidad try to sprint early like this. 
Trinidad holding one arm as Vargas whacked away with the left. Best rally of the fight for Fernando. Here's another look, Larry, at the jab by Trinidad that yep. seemed to wobble Vargas. Well, he called him a baby, and so far he's uh, done everything except diaper and powder him. It could have been a first-round knockout, but now Vargas has a chance to write a fascinating script. On your mark, get set. You don't want to be in front of a guy like that. He's in position to get him back on his heel so he's off balance. Trinidad with a long right hand that wobbles Vargas and all night. And that's what Vargas, he's taking the chance, but he's doing as much. He's got Trinidad boxing. And there's a... As I said earlier with Vargas, he's naturally off balance for uh, Trinidad. You have him in, oh, he jabs to the bears. Vargas is going to have to throw that right hand before he hooks Trinidad because you don't want to be hooking the right hand there. Vargas beginning to put punches, to, but Fernando is not yet elusive. He's in front of Trinidad, and he's been taking too many punches. Oh, right good right hand by Vargas. But he's standing still again with a guy on the ball of his right foot. And he takes a left hand as a result of it. You don't want to throw your right hand yeah, before you throw your left hand. with Trinidad's right eye. And now Vargas sees a chance and bangs away with the left while Trinidad holds on to his right. What a, what a Hard right hand, hand by Trinidad. Into the right eye of... The young fighter seems to have gotten his feet under him. He takes a low blow, and referee Jay Nady is going to give him a chance to recover. And if I'm for... Motioning Vargas back into the corner, now Fernando wants to come out and fight. I really think it was Fernando, uh, Vargas who had the momentum going before the stop. Third round comes to a close, and trash talk from Vargas. Larry Merchant. Well, in the corner, Tito got a slap in the face. Jab. And you into can the see there that Trinidad appears to be all right and into the fight. And George Foreman copy about three. Harold, how'd you score the first three rounds? Okay, Jim, 29-26, two rounds to one, Tito Trinidad. You gotta give him two extra points. And down goes Tito on a big left hook. It's changed. Here comes Trinidad to try to follow up. I mean, check it, Vargas to try to follow up. Well, Vargas has said that if he got Trinidad in trouble, he wasn't going to let him off the hook. He got another low blow. Second foul of the fight for Trinidad. And we'll see the low blow. George, tell me how much this hurts the fighter. No, he's been hit low already, so it's already tender around the body. It's going to hurt him a lot, and it's going to affect his stomach also. So he's going to be in trouble for the rest of the Will fight. Will it limit performance the it's rest of the fight? It's going to limit a lot of movements now because it's hurt. He's planted the punches. Should he, re should he retaliate, George? No, no, not at all. The fight again. So here they come. Round four continues. Big left. Cut. Vargas Corner told him to go with the uppercuts, but you're just having a little trouble with his right eye. I think it's a little swollen. I think you're right on the money there, Larry. And He's I think Trinidad benefited from him down and then throw the uppercut. You got to make him go down. Don't just throw the uppercut while he's in the heights. Fernando. Felix backing straight up. Takes another left hook. This of Trinidad's hands. He's not getting hit with the kind of clean was early in the fight. No, he's ducking and slipping and finding opportunities. This looks a little bit more like what he was able to do against Quarte. And think for a second. And when you do box me, rather than I punch me. And that's what Trinidad is trying to do, outbox the champ now. No longer does Vargas wobble every time Trinidad hits him upstairs. Here's the knockdown, Larry. Here's the left hand that knocked Tito. I've seen in the corner, they're telling Tito that his eye looks okay, but it doesn't look okay. Now both of them have had to come back from adversity. Story of two fights so far. First two rounds by CompuBox numbers. Trinidad landed 37 punches. Bonet. In round four, Vargas with a 15 to 4 end fighter has for the moment taken over. Doing it naturally. These are things you just can't teach a guy when you get hurt. Totally stunned by the two vicious mark as much as it was earlier. That's what you want him to do. Spread that leg. Good uh, track run on your mark. He's not ready to punch you back. He's back on the right. Now close to the belt line. At this time, Trinidad should be 
Estate to abandon his left jab, which he shouldn't have done. Since then, he's and Vargas has, has established his body punch in there. Now and Vargas starts to get his jab going. And, and double left hook. Attack. These are the things that your corner has to look at. Vargas pops. After he backs up a moment, he stops. That throws Trinidad off because he knows then he may get hit. Vargas much more effective at range right now. This is a dominant round for young Vargas. Fighter have seen him be tough and mature both so far. And now for the first time on our Harold did in fact cause that swelling to Trinidad's right eye with a thumb in the third round. Oh, I don't know if it was a thumb because there are no thumbs on these gloves, Jim, but it was a glove. And I know for sure that's what Fernando would prefer. Right, well, let him say it. We can't do it. Okay. Trinidad is dangerous. Yeah, just can't stand in front of him and not do anything. He will have George and begins to set up the offense. Vargas is looking to work on that eye. Young fighters don't like to clinch. Vargas is doing it. A, a big right hand by Trinidad hit Vargas in the neck and destabilized him momentarily. And two more left hooks by Trinidad landed after having been thoroughly dominated in three, four, and five. And Vargas, who was moving away early in the round, elects to trade with Trinidad and gets the better of him for the moment. What a round. Jockey box numbers, Trinidad 27 out of 52, Vargas 25 out of 59, more fireworks to be hey, Jim, amazing. 55-55, three rounds apiece. Tito Trinidad definitely caught it for that. you got to box him. Another low blow. Down below the belt, you're not okay. One and point. another point deduction against Trinidad. So that's two One points point. deducted. If form follows, it's Trinidad time. is you flirting know. with disqualification. Yeah, I don't only speak Spanish. And there's the punch, which was right along the belt line. But the way Vargas reacted, he certainly felt it was a low blow. Yeah, Here's another look. There. It's tender down there anyway. Now they're back to the ropes and box. If he takes it. Trinidad has been in these positions. Trinidad's got the best right hand on the scene now. Something back himself now, Vargas. A little short with the you got. You got to get off first. Trinidad reaching just a little with the jab. Vargas steps in, overshoots with a Trinidad with a left to the those body over the course of the fight for Felix. In round seven, Trinidad had the CompuBox numerical advantage, but of course he had a point deducted for a low blow. Harold, how do you have it now? They won the round, but lost the point that I lost because of nonsense point deductions. You don't take a guy to a corner, talk to him for five minutes, and deduct the point. That's a joke. If you're going to deduct the point, you do it immediately when he gets when he throws the low blow, and it's all there is to it. A letterman memo to Jay Nady. And, and uh, Vargas, stand. see him get that foot planted? You got to get away. Into some semblance of flow. Keep going, keep pressing the guy. He has this look of a child. Of... It was a macho battle and it's been... He knows it hurt him too. Excellent. There it is again. Vargas was on the belt line with that one. Trinidad comes back with a right right on the chin. He can make things happen. Trinidad right side hurt from that left hook. And there's another one by Vargas. And this time he doubles the left hook upstairs. And they Dang low. Yeah, there was a little bit of a low blow. He sensed, as you said, he went after it. He hit him again in the same spot, right above the, the, the trunk line there. Body favor of Fernando Vargas here in round number eight. Trinidad is protected. Yeah. Folks, this is, is that's low. That was low. This Ten is... seconds left in the round now. They come down the stretch of the round, and Vargas momentarily hurt. Because he stops and thinks for a second, and whenever he stops, Trinidad takes advantage of it. Lose concentration. It could be a round on which the scorecards could turn because that round could have gone to either guy. Vargas, wherever he stands still for a moment and look at Trinidad too much, Trinidad picks up that right in the middle with that right hand. Big left hook by Vargas. Uppercut attack. Got a big jab. When Vargas hit him, done well with the swelling. He hasn't blown his brave now throwing uppercut. You want to make sure you throw uppercut, you're in the middle of the ring. A right hand from distance momentarily wobbles Vargas. 
Another combination by Trinidad. Vargas grabs and holds. Another big right hand by Trinidad. Vargas in trouble. He stands and fires with the left. Championship rounds truly have belonged to Felix Trinidad. He's hammering Vargas here. Oh, that left hook to the body by Trinidad. Another left to the body by Vargas momentarily. That's what you want, Trinidad. You want to back him away. Make another him back up. To the body by Make Vargas. him back up. And another left to the body by Vargas. He stops Trinidad's momentum by raking Trinidad to the ribs. Right here, right here, it's toughness of Vargas against the skill and punching power. He want to mix it up, Vargas does. Trinidad. He's like, I'm going to keep it up. This is the strength of both fighters going at each other. This was Vargas is not going to back away. Not the kind of fighter who'll run. I'll stand with him. I'll trade with him. I'll stay with him all the way. That's what Vargas does as he comes down the stretch in round nine. Take it easy. Vargas took some heavy shots there, and he spent a lot of himself, I felt, in recovering. The question now is, how much three rounds? How good was the ninth round? They both landed 32 punches by CompuBox estimation, and 54 of the total 64 were power shots. I did. I did. I got away three points. I don't think Danny will do this to go. Harold, both rounds were very close. I think Harold has done a good job this time. Both of the right hand last round. So now it's Trinidad's right eye that's swelling. Vargas's left eye. And they stand and trade again. Trinidad with bigger power when they go face to face. Trinidad has been in this position in the latter rounds before. Back out. Hoya right here. When some people thought that Delaware couldn't. Oh, just to be the stronger of the two. Shots. One of the judges for this fight, Glenn Hamada, was also a judge for Trinidad De La Hoya, and he had that fight, 114. Do you want to guess that Don was saying Vargas is throwing low punches too? He probably was, and then you caution you. And Dr. Elias Ghanem, when King was leaning over Carano and Ghanem to try to make his point. Mark Ratner, the executive director of the Nevada State Athletic Commission, was two seats away. Meanwhile, they're still busting each other face to face in the ring as round 10 comes to Here's a look at the low blow call, Larry. Yeah, it was low. It was a little low on the border, but nothing that... It may be that right now, Vargas either has to win the last two rounds... The one who needs the knockout, because that was a big round for Trinidad, numerically, and on the scorecards now. That's a good job, but he's just got to stay out of... If he just uses this jab, hook, stay out of the way. Now, Trinidad has definitely had the edge in power. Move out of the way. Hit him, hit him, hit him, move out of the way. And That's right. Win the round. This is a Felix Trinidad. Sure, he doesn't do a lot of different things in action, commitment, pride, and absolute determination all the time. Try to match my will. That's what Felix Trinidad says to Vargas down the stretch of this fight. He knows how to go forward, and then he, he's aggressive. Now Vargas is hard. <laughs> in case you missed the beginning, First minute and a half of the bout, but survive. Do first and get out of the way. Now get out of the way, he should be doing that. Good left hook inside by Vargas. Vargas with a momentary flash of offense, but Trinidad freezes him with a hard right hand to the jaw. Great punches by Trinidad right up the middle. They get there quick. There you go, Vargas. He's beating him to the punch and he's rattling him. He's got his heart. He's got his power. Don't get into the exchanges. What a battle. Again, in this last round to pull it out. But Felix Trinidad has been out landing Vargas down the stretch and with bigger firepower most of the time. Vargas Harold Letterman, how do you have it going to the final? Okay, round. Jim, I absolutely four. One even, one oh three again. Jim, there's no question out of the last four rounds, Tito Trinidad is released three. Down goes Vargas on a big left hook. And up he gets in a two seconds. And now it's abundantly clear. Fernando Vargas Fox. must score a knockout or he's lost this fight. Down goes Fernando again. 
He seriously hurt. Six, he doesn't seven, have his wits eight, about him. Eight, sure? He is reacting come, simply come, from come, instinct come. and courage. He's out of it. He can't see Trinidad. He's about to get knocked out. Barring a miracle here, it's going to be a closing knockout for Tito. Fernando trying to survive. Fires a couple of punches. And holds on like a skilled veteran. He's a veteran. And that'll do it. The third right hand, the third knockdown of the round. A huge victory for Tito Trinidad. It's Trinidad, who maintains his power through the fight as well as any fighter in recent memory, had it in the 12th round for three knockdowns and ultimately a TK and a knockout to win. And Vargas stepped in like the warrior he is to try to get it with the result being that he went into range for Trinidad's sustained power. A right and another and big left we hook. We have the time. And the one minute, 33 seconds in round number 12. He's the winner by way of knockout. He is still undefeated. And now the WBA and the IBF 154-pound world champion, Felix Tito.